Now it is day two of a special session for lawmakers called back to the state capitol by Governor Kathy Hochul. Uh, she wanted to pass a new gun laws in response to that recent ruling by the Supreme Court, but that's not the only issue on the board. News 10's Capitol reporter Jamie DeLine joining us live once again to give us the update. Hi, Jamie. Hi, John and Lydia. New gun legislation has passed in the Senate, but it has yet to pass in the Assembly. One Republican lawmaker telling me that he's planning on voting no because he doesn't think it has constitutional muster. The legislature on Friday taking up the governor's program bill on gun legislation, defining sensitive locations concealed carry would be prohibited. In addition, there's an amendment to penal law to change the term body vest to body armor. Once enacted, this will apply to a broader array of protective equipment. Body armor, such as what was used in the Buffalo Massacre, would be covered, and all kinds of body armor. This is a very pro-police, pro-law enforcement bill because the police do not want criminals being, uh, having body armor and being emboldened. There will also be ammunition background checks, and New York State will become a point of contact state, something I asked leader Andrea Stewart-Cousins about. Leader, can you talk about New York State being a point of contact state? What does that mean, and how does this impact New Yorkers? Well, I mean, uh, generally, we were using the federal government in order to do the background checks. Now, New York State police will be very involved in that as well, so that the information that's available within New York State will be part of the background check. Gun dealers will have to contact the state police and say, you know, we are, we are selling guns, so that we become very much part of the background check, which again is extremely important. Also on Friday, Governor Hochul issued a proclamation to enshrine abortion rights into the New York State Constitution and met virtually with President Biden to talk about reproductive rights. Literally at 2 a.m. this morning, while we're still working on the gun legislation, I changed my proclamation to say we'll also include to give further protections for women in the state, what we call the equality agenda. This will prohibit discrimination on the basis of pregnancy and pregnancy outcomes and reproductive health care and autonomy. So we're one step closer as of uh, this afternoon. I think it's going to be passed by both houses to enshrine abortion rights in our state constitution. Now, this already passed in the Senate, but it has yet to pass in the Assembly, and it has to be passed in the state legislature again before it can be voted on by the public. Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine, News 10, ABC. All right, thanks for the update, Jamie. Uh, police and